Okay, so come back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well and hope you guys are staying safe. Happy New Year. Um, the other day someone asked me whether you should invest in government bonds and I just thought, okay, fine, I should do a video on um, some key things that you need to be thinking about that need to be at the back of your mind um, when you're thinking about investing in government bonds. Um, so welcome. One of the key things that really attracts people to invest in government bonds um, is that they are relatively low risk. They are considered um, low risk, um, that you're almost, almost um, guaranteed that you'll get your money back after that um, the turn of the investment is done. Um, so if you're looking for low risk investments, um, government bonds might be for you. At the same time, you also need to be thinking about, okay, um, my current portfolio, what is it made up of? Is it low risk? Is it high risk? So people with um, relatively risky portfolio would also tend to invest in government bonds because this just lowers the risk. Um, if you have um, maybe your businesses, they just give you a headache, you're not even certain whether um, tomorrow you're going to get um, money on your investment, anything can happen. Um, yeah, because of this, um, relatively high risk nature of your business then you can decide to put some money in government bonds because here you're guaranteed i remember there's a time i was talking to someone and he was a trader at Kayako and Dar es Salaam and he was like okay fine but um these government bonds are not going to give me um, a lot of interest um the interest is not is not as high um if you compare it to my investment where if i have some money if i go to china i buy I buy my Mzigo, I come back, I sell, I can even double my money in two or three months. If you're thinking like this, um, the question is still, anything can happen. You might have your business is running, something can happen, COVID happened, um, your luggage might be stuck at the border, you never know what can really happen. Um, so yes, you might have your business that is really earning you a lot of interest. Um, yes, maybe it can double, your money can double, but just for peace of mind, um, if just in case something goes wrong in your business, you have some money to fall down. That's why we say government bonds are relatively low, low risk. So you have your high risky businesses, investments, um, just to so that you can sleep better at night, you put some money in government bonds, and yeah, you just have to see a way in which you can balance um, the risk. Another reason why you should invest in government bonds is um, maybe you are closer to retirement, you're an older person, um, you cannot handle stress of um, maybe some other investments, then government bonds are really for you. Um, usually in investment, in theory, it's considered that um, if you are young, you can handle maybe shocks in business, um, yeah. But if you're older, um, you might not be able to handle this. You just need some money that is coming in, flowing in, that can take care of your bills. So if you are going to retirement, um, government bonds are really for you. Another reason why you should invest in government securities is their tax advantages. Here really I'm talking specifically on Tanzanian bonds. I know uh, from the five-year bond up to the um, and above so 5 7 10 15 20 and i think now there's a 25 year bond uh, if you invest in them you don't incur 10 percent withholding tax which is incurred on other investments like uh, the three um, treasury bond um, treasury bills um saving um fixed deposits in banks so you're looking for tax advantages um yeah this is for you Another reason why you should invest in government bonds is you're looking for a steady stream of income. Remember my first example was uh, I was telling you own a businessman who had businesses in Kayako, um, but maybe the, uh, the income is not steady because you never know what can happen. Um, maybe today you might get a hundred clients, tomorrow you can get a thousand. Next month you might not get any clients. So you're looking for a steady stream of um, income. And a steady stream of income is good um, just because um, things can happen or you can you can use it to plan. Maybe you know for sure that you'll cut you'll incur this expense for your um, child's education so you can plan around this. Um, just so you know, okay, fine, I'm doing my other businesses, but I know for sure my son will go to school because I am putting um, a bond for him and once he reaches that age, maybe university, there is money that is going to be flowing steadily that will enable me to educate him without any stress. So yes, you're looking for steady stream of income, then government bonds are definitely for you. Another reason why you should invest in government bonds is they are relatively li liquid. If you have a government bond, and here, again, I'm talking specifically on the um, Tanzanian market. If you have a government bonds, you can relatively sell it. Um, but um, 
a key thing is first the amount of money uh, because in tanzania the main participants are banks and pension funds in um in buying purchasing of government bonds so they will be looking for uh bonds maybe with a value of maybe a hundred million two hundred million and above so if you have a bond with this value it should not really be hard for you to sell it um and compare this maybe you have an investment in land and suddenly something happens you really need the money urgently or maybe you fall sick you need to go for an operation in india you really need the money quickly and most likely you might take a few months um, some some even take years to to dispose of land, to dispose of property, and once people know that you are selling in desperation, um, the price even goes low. So yes, well, maybe bonds don't offer the most um, interest, um, because they are relatively liquid. Um, they sh you should also be thinking about adding bonds into your portfolio. Um, just because some other investments are not as liquid, if you want to dispose it. If you get a problem, you'll not be able to dispose it, and that can really be a challenge. Yes, we have talked about all these advantages that you're going to enjoy just because you've invested in government bonds. There are also are disadvantages that should, you should also bear in mind when you're thinking about investing in government bonds. Um, one of the things is inflation risk. Um, there's a risk that you've put your money in a government bonds, maybe you've put it for 20 years, there's something called inflation. 1 million today is not 1 million 20 years to come um so yes as much as you're getting interest there's also that element of inflation um yeah and sometimes it might not be the interest that you're earning um so this is really important to think about the same way um you hear all the stories of okay maybe this person bought this land for 1 million just 10 years ago but now they can sell it for maybe 20 million or 100 million because of the value of the land has grown because there's also an aspect that inflation has grown over the years so sometimes um bonds will not be able to beat inflation so yes you will have your one million after 10 years but um the amount of goods it would buy for you in those after 10 years is relatively less than what it would buy for you now so that this is really key um, in keeping in mind when you're thinking about investing in bonds another disadvantage uh, when you're thinking about investing in bonds is um, lower rate of return bonds have a relatively lower rate of return if you compare to other investment avenues such as maybe equities and uh, maybe land property so the return might not be as good this book um and hate is key because it is lower risk so the lower risk the lower the expected return um, so sometimes bonds don't have um very high interest rates the same way i was telling you earlier that this businessman was like oh okay if i go to china i can double my investment uh, but that uh, bond will not give you such kind of return so you also have to bear in mind when you're thinking about investing in bonds and the final disadvantage of investing in bonds is something called interest rate risk you've invested in a bond um most of the bonds okay um on in the tanzanian market um the bonds have a fixed interest so if i buy a bond today maybe if i buy a um, five-year bond a five-year bond the interest is 10.08 percent um the agreement is um or the contract is that i will earn 10.08 percent for the five years until the bond matures um but two years down the line maybe interest rates have increased so after two years maybe you can get a five-year bond at maybe 12 percent you see you already locked in in five years with this 10.08 percent so of course it's more of a loss to you because if you if you're not locked in your money um you would get a higher interest um so that is also key when um keeping in mind when you're thinking about investing in government bonds especially for the tanzanian market so that's all guys those are my thoughts um i just tried to answer this question should i invest in government bonds let me know your comments your thoughts in the comment section down below let me know if you've invested in government bonds um if you've liked this video please don't forget to click the like button if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe right here i'll see you in my next video bye